San Francisco, the guide to lost landscapes, unsung heroes, and radical histories. Stop D16, Los Siete de Raza, 1969 to 71, 429 Alvarado Street. An undercover San Francisco police officer was shot and killed on May 1st, 1969 with a bullet from his partner's gun. The officers were in the midst of confronting a group of young Latino men outside a residential home at 429 to 433 Alvarado Street, who they suspected of involvement in an alleged burglary. After the fight, the young men fled into hiding, but a region-wide manhunt caught six and jailed them to await one of the most politicized trials of the era. After a bitterly contested jury trial in June 1970, all six of Los Siete were acquitted of all charges. They were Tony Martinez, Mario Martinez, Nelson Rodriguez, Jose Rios, Danilo Bebe Melendez, and Gary Pinky Lascalet. Gio Lopez, the seventh suspect, escaped to Cuba and never returned. interested in the issues in the trial that the lawyers are trying to bring out, the, the issues such as self-defense and racism and the fact that these uh, police officers can go around carrying guns in the, uh, in the ghetto areas of the city and ripping off our brothers in the ghettos. Soon after their arrest, activists organized a defense committee out of whose community organizing was launched a health clinic, El Centro de Salud, a restaurant, a free breakfast program at St. Peter's and St. John's churches, a newspaper, Basta Ya, which was given its start by being hosted in the Black Panther newspaper, and La Raza Legal Defense, the Central Legal de la Raza started later in 1973 and is thriving nearly a half century later. Fusing the campaign with a variety of neighborhood political issues, the Committee to Defend Los Siete energized a grassroots opposition to the increasingly staid Mission Coalition Organization, MCO, and its incorporation into the pro-growth agenda of then-Mayor Joe Alioto. The self-proclaimed revolutionaries around the Los Siete campaign were not able to supplant the broad-based organizing that the MCO had been carrying out in its dynamic first years. In fact, the Los Siete committee was not even able to attract the participation of all the original defendants, several of whom were soon re-arrested and suffered savage beatings at the hands of the revenge-minded San Francisco police. The political aspirations of Los Siete were not achieved on their own terms. The successful campaign to defend the young men left a lasting legacy in the Mission District. The mobilization strongly contributed to improvements in legal defense, medical services, and a lasting tradition of politically engaged art, both murals and screen printing. San Francisco General Hospital has undergone many changes over the years, not the least of which was the development of a multilingual staff and the ability to provide medical services in many languages none of which was true prior to the creation of El Centro de Salud by the Los Siete activists.